Right, we're going to try and make one of those mousetrap cars that just uses two LPs. There's my mousetrap. I've done a bit of pre-work, preparation work. Um, cut a bit of wood out of an old piece of uh, kitchen cabinet. I've cut myself some discs out of some scrap plywood. I've got a bit of a, bit of a pen, ball pen. A couple of LPs. Uh, a bit of dowel, it's actually square section, but it's just the right size to fit inside the LP with a bit of a bit of work on it. A uh, little bit of fishing line. A uh, small saw. Hobby knife. And hot glue gun. And hopefully that should be all I need to do this. Let's see how we get on. Already cut a already cut a slot out of this, so I'm gonna hot glue that in place. Haven't got the hot glue gun switched on yet, but that will go on there. I shall also cut a couple of short tubes out of that, put one on top of each of there, because that will be the the holes, the tubes for the axle to go through. These I'm going to use to brace the LP and it's actually on there and hot glue that in place. So we'll get started. Right, while the hot glue gun's warming up, I'll just cut my pen tube into a couple of short lengths. Obviously it's got to be wide enough for that, plus a couple of bits for the LPs, let's just guess. Okay. That 
as usual. Hot glue gun's just about to run out of glue. So a bit more there. Alright, these fellas. Sit on the top there. speed of it so I can get through the get through the video quickly. Okay you need a couple more of these on the insides of the CDs uh, CDs LPs. Yeah. Okay. I hope so nobody's uh, worried about these LPs. They're just cheap ones I picked up in the charity shop. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tell whether I've got them perfectly positioned.
attention. And the length should be just enough to get up to the far side of the axle. Okay, this will be my standard test. It's got to run the length of my kitchen. Oh, <laughs> 